Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Far Experience. I hope everybody is doing good. So if you have been following my channel, uh, you could have seen I was set to fly from DC to Atlanta to Chicago and then to Dallas Fort Worth, Texas and then back to DC. Unfortunately due to you know an awesome experience with Frontier third time was a charm so I was set to fly Frontier the third time and they screwed big time and I was stranded in Chicago for one more day anyways the moral of the story is never ever fr fly Frontier so what I did is I denied their offer you know of flying the next day by paying additional uh, you know maybe hundred fifty bucks or something so what I have done is instead I have rebooked my flight the next day via Southwest Airlines and that's what all the experience is about today also it was my birthday so eventually I have to celebrate my birthday all alone thanks thank you Frontier Airlines for the awesome experience and I'm gonna make the vi separate video on that so for today what we are gonna do is I'm gonna review the comfort suite hotel where I was staying and then the entire journey with Southwest flying through uh, from Chicago to St. Louis Missouri to D DCA the Ronald Reagan Airport a very good morning everyone welcome to the far experience and today's brand new episode is all about traveling from Chicago in the US to Dallas Fort Worth Texas so right now uh, so if you like guys don't know I was in Chicago for a wedding and now it's done and today is Sunday all right guys so we stayed at choice hotels in here in Chicago Oak, Oak Brook I think so anything first thing first so we have a flight to catch and we are learning running late as usual so what I'll do is let me give you a quick through of the hotel room where I stayed and then let's take you to the journey for today so stay tuned this is the door where we entered and then as soon as you enter you have a beautiful living space so you have got the lamp there and then you have got a sofa right here with the keys my bag is all set to go Alright, so this is the view of the living room. So a working table, a TV, fridge, microwave, a sofa, like a living room. And then another lamp on the right. Beautiful. I really liked it. And this is me, my friends. So this is the bathroom. And then another thing I liked about the bathroom is... So the another thing I liked about the bathroom is... So you have a separate shower with the door. And then your basin so you, you you know you can use it simultaneously all right a big mirror and then this is the bedroom again with the lamps uh, TV wardrobe ample lightning and then this beautiful view from outside so anyways we are running late first thing first let's head out so we are running late first thing first let's grab our keys so these are the keys right here and uh, let's move out we are heading to check out now Hi. all right we are waiting for our lift so the lift is slow we are going to take the stairs down because I'm running late I need to have a flight to catch they do have other amenities as well and as I said it's not a sponsored video it's just my personal experience so awesome breakfast they do have a pool sauna and you know other offerings as well so here we are because we are running late for, to the airport we are just trying to grab whatever you know we can for the breakfast but yes, the, the menu is quite exhaustive and highly recommended. So, so here we are at Comfort Suits waiting for our Uber. 
Damn, I need to work on the habit of not running late for flights. So here we are arriving at the Chicago Midway Airport once again after Frontier screwed up us up. So now today we are scheduled to fly southwest. First thing first, we need to get our tickets. Again, no to Frontier, never ever. So I moved to Southwest, I got my and you know, so I got my tickets booked. Flying through Missouri to Dallas uh, uh, to DC, sorry. Somebody in the comments mentioned like yes, Southwest do have like you know, um, you can rebook the tickets and they do have two luggage free which you can check in and yeah there are other amenities as well I'm gonna explain it later so with the journey you get this free drink and snack that's one of the best things I liked about it and then also we do get a free Wi-Fi and a wide selection of you know uh, movies which you can watch so it's pretty basic and simple as you can see on the screen you have got clear instructions right there just go to your phone or tablet connect to the Wi-Fi and then you would be landing up to the home page at the home page you will get all sort of option like you know a sort of free uh, texting also like you can use your text for whatsapp and text basically and then you have got like free movies and you know even free TV though you can also upgrade your internet connection by paying a nominal fee but again obviously that is too much of a hassle and I'm not gonna do that but then again you can also use your iMessages and WhatsApp messages that's awesome and then coming back to the movies so they have got a vast selection of movies and shows as well so pretty impressive again coming on from Frontier to Southwest that's an big major difference right here so let me give you a glimpse of the Chicago Midway Airport so as you can see on the screen there are three concourses A B and C uh, C is the green one which is basically frontier which we are never ever gonna fly again and then A and B are dedicated to Southwest you can see these are in blue so let's head on let's move on to our boarding gate just for your information guys Chicago has got two airports the other one is O'Hare which is actually again one of the busiest airport and I have been there in the past but then you know at that time I was not making videos so for sure I'll be there some other time and I'll make a video of the Chicago O'Hare airport but now for Midway Midway is the second airport in Chicago though it's comparatively small but then again I would say it was still okay and you know not lacking any amenities so overall like I would say it was a good airport and before somebody one tells me I'm not right so it's Chicago uh, O'Hare all right so let's move on to a boarding gate now that's our plane right there and this is a busy day so the airport is really really busy uh, also keep in mind that I have got two legs of this journey I'm first flying from Chicago to uh, St. Louis, Missouri and then from St. Louis, Missouri to DCA Ronald Reagan Airport, but then I'll be just I won't be covering them separate I'll just be covering them in one video so that I can just give you the glimpse of the southwest The boarding is pretty smooth as you can see and then mind it guys that Southwest doesn't offer you like seat numbers on the on your tickets so it's based on your groups and it's first come first serve so whoever gets in first in the in the you know groups in the so the first one who gets in the first group gets the first seat so it's first come first serve you have shifted and could fall out and bonk you on your head please be advised that the front and back doors will be open for ground servicing for your safety and the safety of those around you please make sure you're exiting the aircraft the same way that you came in so the flight is comfortable the attendants are helpful the and here I missed you as you can listen all right this is the termination of this flight everyone will be exiting the aircraft so finally it's time to leave Chicago after you know frontier made me standard here for another day but finally we are heading out of Chicago to st. Louis Missouri and from there to Ronald Reagan DCA so I'll see you guys at st. Louis Missouri welcome to st. Louis so this is the st. Louis Lambert International Airport this is again a big airport 
compared to Chicago Midway but then again it's still beautiful by the way there's also another airport at st louis i think spirit of st louis but i have not been there ever but hopefully once i'm there i'll be able to give you a walkthrough of that too but for now this is the beautiful stl the st lambert uh, international airport at st louis missouri since my layer was pretty small like one one and a half hour in st louis so our boarding has already started to DCA so let's hop on and finish this trip so this time we have grabbed our window seat once again and that's the air traffic control tower in St. Louis Missouri and we're just about to you know fly off This looks to me the Missouri River and if anybody has an idea just let me know in the comments. Uh, by the way, so we are just flying off of Missouri heading to Ronald Reagan in Washington DC. And here we are above the clouds, a beautiful glimpse flying southwest from Chicago to St. Louis and now the second leg of the journey from St. Louis, Missouri to Ronald Reagan DCA airport and now we have started to descend so we'll be landing shortly you can see right below us is the runway we are in the Washington DC area and here we are we are about to land Finally, our round trip from BWI to Atlanta to Chicago and Dallas Fort Worth, which we were not able to go due to due to Frontier Airlines. But then we went to St. Louis, Missouri, and then to finally DCA, washing back to Washington D.C. So I I hope guys you have liked the entire trip, and please subscribe, comment, and share my ch uh, my videos and please in the comments you can also let us know the feedback and if you really like my videos and what sort of you know inputs or feedback i can use to improvise my videos welcome back to washington dc it feels good to be back after five days and four states right so i've been around four states so right now i'm back so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm tired i'm gonna book a shuttle a uber and go home so it's a cloudy yet beautiful evening in washington dc and this is basically dca this is ronald reagan international airport so it mostly carries most of the domestic flights and washington dallas carries most of the international flights but yes, we do have international flights here too. Alright, now we are in our Uber, so we are heading home. I hope you liked today's video, so like, comment and subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned so I can bring you experiences from all over the world. Bye-bye.